Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys a Ride. Rob and I are here at the Minneapolis Boat Show here, and we're here at the Yamaha booth, and we're here with Kelsey. Yes. So we, we, we're walking by Kelsey, and we, we, we stopped to talk to you about this because it, it's something I had not seen before. Absolutely. So uh, tell us what we're looking at. So this is our new all-electric Harmo motor. We just came out of it, equivalent to about a 10 horse. Okay. Um, it's being released now to boat builders, but people are using it as primary propulsion. And then also we've tested it as a kicker motor on deep V walleye type boats. Okay. So as the kicker motor, it can hook up with our existing digital motors. So it uses oh, the, so same, the same throttle controls and joystick and same everything. Same joystick controlling as our helm master and okay. everything that exists. And then wow. people have also been putting it on like single use ferries or pontoons. Okay. Um, for canals down in Florida, that's what it was released for originally was in Europe for okay. ferrying on the canals. But people are also using it on like um, horsepower restricted lakes and electric only lakes that are around cities and protected oh. waters. Oh, now so the, basically, uh, if, if you were to mount this to your boat, mm -hmm. how about how deep is that that transom area where you would attach it? Because it's not real. You don't have to have a real big transom to do this. You don't. You can. It can be a very small transom, and it can be like 20 inch or a 25 inch transom. Okay. It can be mounted both ways. And if, if, if eventually, when it becomes released to the to the normal everyday customer, you, you attach that. And what else do you have to do? You have a single harness going to the throttle, and then you hook it up to the batteries, and it's ready to go. And that's it. That's it. Wow. So. Taking a look down below, you know, when you first walk by, you think you're looking at the propeller, but Correct. but um, it, it actually that's behind. It is behind it. So, so tell us how that works. So that's actually a rim-driven impeller. That outside rim is magnetic. So on a prop boat where you would traditionally, on the outside edges of the blades, lose your leverage well, we physics, yep, this is actually driven by that outside edge. So you continue to have powerful yeah, torque. The whole time. The whole time. Okay. I imagine it's, it, 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 as a 10 horse, it's pretty torquey. I mean, it that, is. That's, wow. So, so you've, you've added it as a kicker motor, uh, and but some people are using it for like all the all electric lakes or uh, horsepower restrictions. Horsepower restrictions. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I can't believe that you, you can just mount that to a boat and that's all you have to do to connect it. It is. Uh, it's a 48 volt system. 48 volt system, we've tested it with glass mat, traditional batteries, and then we've also tested it with lithium batteries. So depending on how many batteries you have or the size of your battery, the kilowatt hours, it could run anywhere from 20 minutes to eight hours, just like a traditional type trolling motor system wow. could. Um, also, it's static mounted, so that top engine part doesn't move. Just that midsection and that bottom propeller move. So you don't have to worry about having, you know, if it's, mounted in the transom of a pontoon you don't have to worry about having that clearance okay that's a good point um so how many degrees does it turn 140 total so you can basically walk your boat sideways crab walking because you have that degree okay. of steering wow and you would have an, a, a normal like a like a tilt it tilts it's all electric it tilts 70 degrees completely out of the water okay man and all of that again from your normal controls that you would already have normal controls you'd already have okay there are i was looking earlier to see how many mechanical things you, you, there are three grease circs on there but that's it that's it it's pretty simple under underneath this top cowling there's the drive shafts and that's basically it so what are you see when you when right now you're selling to, to boat builders? Correct. What are you seeing them use it mostly for? The same things you've listed already, or same they're finding I've some in, in, innovative ways to? They've so far it's been very popular with pontoons for you know private lakes okay. and there's a lot of protected waters. But it's also you know you can take it out with the family, the kids, and if you're just going you know to float around, have a good day, swim. That impeller is encircled inside there, so it's really a safety thing also that if somebody's swimming around it, it takes some effort to get in there to it. So it's, it's really a great idea. That, that's, that's a good point. I had not thought of that. Wow. So, um, 
Let's walk over for a minute and just take a look at the controllers in case people are not familiar with the Yamaha controllers because eventually if you want to do this on your own and you didn't have that particular mm -hmm. Yamaha setup, you'd want to get the controllers for it. So Absolutely. you can take a walk over there and take a look at these quick. You've got the single top mount and then the side mount. So if you've got, you know, a pontoon, some center console type okay. or a little John boat, that would work. And then you've got this existing one. It doesn't take up very much room. It comes with the push button start. Also okay. the same, same safety, safe system. safety yep. lanyard and everything that's on every, every other controller we have. Wow. So uh, do they have a, a price, a, a, an idea of a price point where if you were to buy the motor and a controller? Currently we don't. We're letting the boat builders kind of um, they're experimenting, they're doing a lot of research to okay. find out what the customers would pay for it. Because in Europe, they use it for a lot of commercial applications and things okay. because they have ferries and canals. And here we think that it's going to be a lot more private consumer base. So okay. we're actually trying to let the market here drive what, what, what they would like be. to see it for. Well, that is, I mean, it's just such a unique system, Kelsey. I mean, that's just awesome. I've never, I've never seen that before. Um, and what, what a neat opportunity it offers uh, boaters. Absolutely. So thank you for taking your time to share that with us. Yes, sir. We're gonna talk to Spencer here in uh, just a minute about one of the gas power motors. Okay, so we're over here with uh, Spencer. Thanks for taking yes, your sir. time with us. Thank you And for we're with the uh, VF250 Yamaha motor. So we just looked at the electric one. Yeah, this is quite a bit bigger. Yes, sir. So this is our tried and true VMAX SHO that we have. Now this is our new B model that we released of last year and becoming more, as you see around the show, you'll see a couple of the new B model shows out there with the new cowling, the new skirts, and man, they just look fantastic, don't they? Yeah, they do. They look great. So about how much horsepower are they turning out? So this one's about 250 as it's labeled. Okay. Uh, we do have a 225 and a 200 model as well uh, with the new updated cowling and skirts. So tried and true 4.2 liter motor that we had in our previous models we stayed with it and uh, it's a fan favorite so we just updated it add some cool new features as well as updating the appearance of it okay so what have you added as features okay so with this new model we did uh, add a bigger alternator in the motor to produce more charging amps that way nowadays you know bass boat guys and walleye guys yeah. and everybody else has multiple graphs on their boats and mm -hmm. it's drawing a lot of power out of their cranking battery so we put in a bigger alternator to be able to supply the charging amps to supply okay. those graphs instead of having to run one or two or, or, or extra batteries, batteries right for your charging Same. and cranking or for your cranking batteries okay and then also with this model like i said the new sleek design that we did we also added an isolator lead in here which that way you can hook up two cranking batteries to the motor to charge at the same time oh so if you That's did end nice. up running two uh, two cranking batteries you're actually you not have to take one out or time. charge it separately at home exactly that is really nice. Now, okay. all right, so tell us about the gauge options on this. So the different gauge options, tried and true, is your mechanical controls that go in, your typical dash, but we also do have our command link as well, our CL7 or CL5, which is an option if you do want to put it in the boat, and that way it shows you your uh, your RPMs, your fuel usage, your fuel consumption. Uh, right, so we're in the engine diagnostics. Yes, sir. So it shows all that on that screen. So you are able to put that in. Okay. Uh, pretty common for people to run uh, the smart wire between the motor to their graphs to display that as well instead of adding in another graph as well okay man it's it's incredible what well, how much technology these new motors come with and, Absolutely. That, and that you're able to see on a screen right in front of you there is a new function it's called total tilt that is available okay. on our vmax shos so it's a total tilt system so it's either a double click up or double click down of the trim button and even at your console and if you double click it up it trims all the way up to the trim limiter yeah, so that it. way when you're it's the motor's got to be turned off but um that way when you're sitting there at the boat ramp you got to get your motor toter off or your poles off to yeah. get the motor off you undo your straps put your plug in it's easier to just double click it it's out of the way you don't have to hold down the button, button. Yes. and then when you're ready to go you double click it down and it trims nice. down to the trim rams and stops right there so you're ready for safe boating and then you trim it down the rest of the way when you're ready to go underway that's a neat feature yes sir so, so that is that the first one that the yamaha's put that on so that is the first mechanical motor we put that on it is available on our offshore motors our okay. f-series okay all right you can you can obviously get 
different propellers. Does it come with a particular uh, propeller when you buy it? Yes, sir. So this one will come, uh, depending on what boat, it kind of varies. But right. for your bass guys, you're going to stick with your VMAX SHO prop. It's a T2 series. Uh, great propeller, very high performance for this motor, uh, specifically engineered for the VMAX show. And it's a tried and true propeller that we've had that everybody knows and loves. Okay, so what would uh, the MSRP be on just an engine like this? So the 250, the MSRP is about $26,000. Okay. So you would be able to find, depending on your dealer, better pricing, but that's just the MSRP price that we can provide. Right. And you usually get better pricing if you couple it with a boat that's already on there. You get a little better, little, little bit of a break there. Yes, sir. Engines are expensive. They are. And, uh, more technology is going in them, so pricing <laughs> keeps going up. But yep. They're becoming more and more reliable, and that's what we pride ourselves on is the reliability of Yamaha Motors that everybody knows and loves. Well, you know, thank you so much for spending your time, and we've got to take a look at this, you know, sort of tried and, and true uh, Yamaha gas-powered motor and also your new electric one. Yes, sir. Well, thank you all so much for coming by. We enjoyed talking to you all and sharing some information with you all as well as the public. Thank you, and thanks for watching.